All right, welcome to our latest Swampcast. Edward Ashoff of the Gainesville Sun and myself, Pat Dooley. We're going to talk a little bit about, about recruiting. Edward did such a wonderful job covering it for us. Good job, Edward. Oh, thanks. Uh, and uh, no real surprises today. I think a lot of us thought that Chaz Green was going to end up at Florida. I think a lot of, uh, I know you were talking about some of the other guys, the late uh, commitments that were obviously not late yeah. commitments, but they were yeah. late announcements. Yeah. Uh, anything take strike you from uh, today's as far as Florida's class goes? Really, nothing was really surprising. Um, I just think that overall, everything that happened, especially after everything with Meyer and his health, just so well, just as well as they closed, was just surprising to me. I honestly didn't think it would be this good or have this many guys stay. No decommitments this year. I mean, you see Demar Dorsey. I mean, it seems like they dropped him. Oh, they definitely dropped him. <laughs> I can tell you that for a fact. Yeah. So they really had no deflections, and that, that's pretty incredible. Uh, considering everything that happened in late December and early January. Or defections. You said deflections. Oh, defections. <laughs> they, now, they hope they get Long some deflections <laughs> out of their <laughs> defensive backs that are coming here. But when you look at this class, you know, I think the one issue you might have had going into today, offensive line and receiver, mm -hmm. and they pick up a couple of big-timers there. Yeah, definitely. Adrian Coxon is a guy that not a lot of people talked about, uh, committed to Penn State for most of the year. And then at the end, he just starts tearing it up in the news because of Florida's getting involved, Georgia's getting involved, Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. So I think he's a big body that they're really going to like out there. Uh, Chaz Green is a guy that, you know, they've been recruiting since he was a junior. Right. He's one of the best players in the state regardless of position. Uh, it, it was getting kind of tough. I thought Tennessee had the upper hand. And then when, when uh, Lane Kiffin goes to USC, you think, right. well, Maybe they have a shot at him out there. He visits, but I, I think that the trust that he had in Urban Meyer just won him over. And he, he was a huge Gator lean at the beginning of the year, so I, I wasn't surprised by that at all. Chaz Green's one of the many uh, recruits who called Urban Meyer and said, uh, are you going to take over for Lee Corso <laughs> on ESPN? That's what I'm being told. Uh, but no. You know, Urban told me, uh, I was talking to him before the press conference, he said, you know what? He said, last night, went to bed at 11 o'clock, left my phone on because we all had to, never rang. So this morning, we're done at 12. He goes, I've never had a signing day like that. <laughs> and and I, I, what it, his point was that the guys who committed to Florida, the guys who, who are coming to Florida, really want to be Gators. Yeah. There was none of this back and forth. Once Matt Elam, Elam was secured uh, and they dropped Dorsey, like we mm -hmm. said, there really wasn't a lot of back and forth guys. Yeah, I think that's good. One, one thing that Urban talked about today was Lyndon Trail and mm -hmm. Trey Burton getting on the phones they're acting like recruiters and calling all these guys and i think that was one special thing that these guys had with meyer the love and the, the you know the, the respect that they had for this program but also you know they all cared about urban meyer when he was sick it wasn't a, it wasn't about oh let's go somewhere else right. uh, there, there's so much you know instability it's it's unstable here there was none of that i think that you know all these guys trusted meyer and they all were calm about it and i, I think that's kind of surprising in this day and age so well and i think that's you got to recruit the right kids mm -hmm. if you recruit kids with a little bit of maturity sheree floyd's a good example he told me uh, the other day when i talked to him he said you know when he left, I went, man, maybe I should think about Ohio State again. He goes, wait a minute, I want to go to Florida. Yeah. That's where I want to be. I exactly. want to be at the University of Florida no matter what happens, so I'm going to Florida. And that's what ends up happening uh, with him and, and this ready-made defensive line. Oh, my gosh. Uh, when they, you know, you easily or um, certainly uh, Sheree Floyd in the Ronald middle. Ronald Powell. Ronald Powell yeah. on the outside. And Ronald Powell said today on ESPN that they're going to let him run some red zone tight end job. Uh, we'll see. That, hey, well, he he caught a touchdown in the Army game, so yeah. why not? He, he's athletic enough. But, you know, it, it, when you look at this class, they really seem to fill everything they needed to fill. Mm -hmm. I, think the, I think the only question mark might be quarterback. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, Tyler Murphy's a great athlete. Trey Burton's a great athlete. But can they throw? And, you know, Meyer seems to think that they can. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Brantley now has no backup. It looks like yeah. it's just Trey Burton at the moment. So, But Jordan Reed moving it yeah. to tight end, which Urban announced today, which had been talked about uh, late in the season mm -hmm. last year. They were working him out there. So, yeah, Johnny, you thought Tim Tebow <laughs> needed to stay healthy. <laughs> Johnny Brantley, you need to stay healthy because uh, they're going to have two true freshmen backing you up. No Unless, draws up the middle. No, no head first contact. You won't see a lot of running with Johnny Brantley now, especially uh, unless Chaz Henry develops wow. as a quarterback. We'll I, see. I saw him working out out here. He, uh, yeah. Might have a little bit of muscle on him. Yeah, so. absolutely. Well, we'll see all this class. As we know, it doesn't matter whether you're one, two, three, four, five, or six, but it does matter to Urban Meyer, as he told me today. He said, hey. <laughs> It shouldn't, but it does. He's too competitive. It is. And, and uh, you never know how these classes are going to pan out. 06, did pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. You never know how number one classes, the 2000 class of Florida, did okay. They won an SEC the next year. But uh, the, the jewels of that class were guys like Brock Berlin who didn't really pan yeah. out. Or so, look at USC from 2006. Yeah. 
2006 was number one, and, and uh, that senior class went, when did they go this year? 8-4? Yeah. 8-4. So <laughs> you just never know. But what the, the key is, to me, and we're more than anything, recruiting is about three things. It's about, it's about uh, recognizing the players, evaluation of the players, getting the players, and then developing the players. Exactly. It's a three-pronged process. Just because you go and get five stars and four stars doesn't make a successful recruit, recruiting class. Yeah, and uh, Urban even talked about that. As competitive as he, as he is about getting the number one class, it's all about what happens later. Yeah. I mean, he talked about the, the nine kids that he got from Miami, and everybody says South Florida talent's so good, but he talked about getting five guys a few years ago, and none of them did anything. So. And that doesn't help you. Exactly. It, because everybody goes, well, yeah, whatever happened to him? <laughs> You know, whatever happened to that guy? Uh, so we'll see how it all pans out down the road. All right, that's going to do it. Edward, I think you're off tomorrow, right. finally. Signing day's over. It just starts at 2011 that's tomorrow. That's right. So. I want to I know this early leans <laughs> and the silent commitments. Who's, yeah, who's the silent to Florida tomorrow? That's right, Next for next year. That was funny what Urban said. He goes, we got juniors wanting to commit to us now. We're like, but they want to visit 12 <laughs> schools. He goes, go try their hats on before you come back, and, and then, then maybe we'll take you if you want to come there. But we'll see how that all works out. Until spring football. This is our last Swamp Cast. Robbie Andrew will rejoin me in the spring, and we'll talk about the Gators then. Until then, Pat Dooley, Edward Ashoff saying so long from the Sunshine State.